finally stopped raining enough that we have decided to get some flowers planted. Ow. So what are we all going to plant in here? I'm going to plant some of these. Those are six so pretty. Six and six out in the garden. Over here are some snapdragons that Miley planted last year and they came back. And they are just beautiful. <laughs> I, like, I like doing that. I like them. We always got the furry little helper. <laughs> Did that deep enough. I think it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of that. Still. It's all just one call of the same plant. Those will be so pretty. Yeah. We had we saw some of those blooming at the greenhouse, didn't we? Yeah. What you got there? Warm. A baby warm. <laughs> baby earthworm, alright. So it's good to see those in the soil. You hold it. No, I don't hold worms. But thank you. <laughs> I'll just admire it from a distance. I'm trying to decide which one to do. I want to do the white one, but I don't know. So that one's pretty. Decisions, decisions. So many flowers to choose from. If that one's a wet one, then I should do the white one. Yep. Good. I think that would be a good choice. Okay, we got all of them planted up here that she's going to plant for now anyway. So now we are going to head over to the garden with the rest of them. Yeah. And so what are you doing now? I'm trying to get the dog on my blow pop. Pretty muddy and wet out here, isn't it? Yes, even tomorrow is raining all it's, day. It's supposed to rain tomorrow again? No, I meant yesterday. Oh, yesterday, yeah, it rained all day. It might rain tomorrow, actually, and a little bit today. I didn't like the weather yet. Well, better not rain tomorrow because we have chickens to butcher. Hope it's not windy either. So we're out here at the garden now, and now we got to figure out how we want to arrange the flowers and plant them and all that. We've got a assorted mix of flowers and weeds and everything else that we got to sort through. And here is Miley's tomato plant. It, let's see, we bought two just alike, the same size and everything. I planted one over in my tomato patch and then Miley wanted this one because it already had a little tomato coming on so we so I let her have this one and, ha and let her plant it over here and I have to tell you that the soil over here must be a lot better because this plant has doubled in size it's quite a bit bigger than the one I have over there This one had a can when it was planted, too. Right. It had a can. It outgrew the can, so we put a cage around it. And I will take you over and we'll look at the other tomato plant and see what it looks like. So, um, maybe next year I will actually change up the garden a little bit and I'll put some of my tomatoes down there on in Miley's bed and then I will let I thought that was gonna be my only no it's your bed for this year but then you can have maybe one of these strips for your flowers next year mom I want that good? side next year again <laughs> we'll see maybe we can play rock paper scissors to see who gets it because <laughs> I think I might want it for tomatoes next year <laughs> what is that? I know what it is. What is it? What? And now come, they're like that. How big the plant is? And there's two plants in this one. Yeah, it's they're they're root bound because they need to get transplanted. They've been growing in a tiny pot, and the roots have nowhere to go. So they just went everywhere on this. Yep. 
I've only painted one. And look how I'm having to do the gum even out. <laughs> You're having to rip the package off of them, huh? Yeah. They really need to get planted. I'm sure they'll be happy to spread their roots out. <laughs> yeah. Should I do like one right here, maybe? Two, three. I'd probably do one on the other side of it because those things are going to get big. Can you tell us why you are planting, a mar planting marigolds around your tomato plant? To keep the bad bugs away. Right, because marigolds keep bugs away. <laughs> and it's still holding the guy though good. Those are some really root-bound plants, aren't they? Yeah. I'm having a whip the whips. <laughs> That's gonna get one out. The smallest plants I got out. Probably the other ones have been blocking this one from sun maybe a little bit. Well, it's probably true. Well, now it'll be able to grow because it'll get an, as much sunlight as it needs, right? <laughs> yeah. We have it all planted. Yeah, and it looks so nice, doesn't it? We were running out of room with, with some marigolds, though. Hopefully here in another month or two, this garden will be full of beautiful colorful flowers yeah what I'd really like to do I don't know if we will or not but I want to go get a nice big load of cotton seed holes and and mulch this whole garden with that I think that would do really well but when I grow a bunch of cotton trees unless the seeds are out that is a good question. I think it does. You have a few sprout here and there, but they're pretty easy to get out. Most of it's just the holes and there's not many seeds in it. You ready to go in? Yes! Okay. If you like this video, leave like and subscribe.